right, so today we have the, for lack of better words, a rock build product. Um, this is the RPG-12. It is a 12-inch active PA speaker. Currently on the market, it's 150 bucks. Right now, we just checked on Rockville's website. Um, it has a claimed output of 200 watts RMS, 400 watts peak, and 800 watts, or, oh, they're doing this whole thing. The 200 watts RMS, 400 watts program, and then 800 watts peak. I'm just going to say it's probably 250 watts RMS and maybe 600 peak, if that. Um, they say the maximum SPL at 1 watt 1 meter is 125 dB uh, peak and 122 dB continuous. Uh, they, they're kind of really, I mean, chalking this thing up to be something good. I mean, we have listened to it just prior. We're going to have a sound test, of course, and it sounds half decent, but um, I don't know if it's going to do 122 dB. We definitely have the sound meter. We're definitely going to put it a meter in front of this and crank this thing up and see if we can even get close to that. Um, and make our ears bleed probably because this horn is a little unbearable I'm not gonna lie uh, but yeah so we'll start with the sound test and then we'll take it apart and see what it consists of oh god sorry man I'm sorry I had to put you through that <laughs> what did we hit 106 oh my lord okay so definitely can't do 122 at all Geez, that was just ear blistering, even from me being back here. And I was not in front of that horn. All right, so sorry, Rockville. I don't know why you gotta even put that there, but not even close. All right, so now we're gonna do a fidelity test to see what kind of tonal value, if any, this Rockville uh, top speaker has to it. I'm not really expecting much, but we'll see what happens. It's okay. Um, it'll do. It's it's nothing great, but for 150 bucks, there are far worse PA powered PA speakers out there. Um, so for 150 bucks, I definitely would recommend Rockville. Don't have your expectations too high. Um, honestly, though, I will have to even say that the highs are at least there, unlike the Mackie Thump. So just for that kind of value, I would say these are clearer than a Mackie Thump 15A. Um, but in terms of bass, of course, you're not going to beat the 15-inch driver that the Mackies have or anything like that. So for, again, $150, Rockville didn't do too bad. All right, so now we're going to continue with the teardown of this Rockville uh, RPG-12, as they call it. And we'll see just what it consists of. Here it goes. Oh, there's the LED wire. All right, so let's see what's in here. Feels pretty decent weight. Oh, let me get these hardware managed. Stick it to the bottom for now. <laughs> well, they didn't use spades. They actually soldered them to it, but as you can tell, these have seen some moisture. There's plenty of rust and oxidation on the terminal leads and my finger even, probably from the bottom, sorry, from the bottom of the basket, I just hit the camera. The 12-inch uh, doesn't seem anything crazy. Seems like your generic 12-inch PA kind of driver. It's just, you know, vented motor. Nothing with the spider that's real interesting. Nothing with the tinsel leads. Nothing with the former. I mean, you can't even actually see what voice coil this uses. Uh, Rockville claimed a 2.5-inch aluminum former for the voice coil, but, I mean, you can't even see it, so I can't really validify if that if that's even a word whether or not that is true so um but overall i mean it seems like a half decent woofer to get the job done doesn't seem like anything too cheap or anything too great um, as for the horn we actually have the diaphragm here this is the one point i think it's a 1.35 it's a really odd kind of size titanium diaphragm that they use in this kind of horn with a looks like a one inch throat um, 
Nothing too crazy. I mean, titanium diaphragms are kind of used in just about every kind of horn almost on the market now. Um, th depending on the crossover network and things like that and other factors like the motor, it could sound good or it could just sound terrible. Um, in this case, this one sound, I mean, it sounds like it's there at least, unlike the Mackie Thump. Uh, but it's a little harsh, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's nothing to write home about, so to speak. But I mean, this has really just kind of been the tear down. We'll take a little peek at the amplifier back here. Hopefully I don't get shocked. Um, this one has an exposed back. You can actually feel the air come through the quarter inch holes and the XLR ports on the back, just because again, this isn't a sealed back amplifier design. But it seems like it's robust enough to do what it claims. I mean, you see some decent filter caps there. There's a toroidal transformer, um, a little crossover network there as well with some paper spirit caps that are a little unsavory, but whatever. All right, so we're going to put this thing back together, and that just wraps it up for the Rockville RPG-12. Thanks again, guys, for joining us, and we hope to see you again next week.